Gold, Exploring Golan Globus Canon Classics and History. Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, the channel where we dive deep into the world of cinema. Today, we have something truly explosive in store for you. We're going to explore the fascinating world of Golan Globus Canon movies. If you're a fan of action-packed, over-the-top, and sometimes downright ridiculous films, you're in for a treat. Let's get started. Origins of Golan Globus Canon Before we dive into the movies themselves, let's talk about the minds behind these cinematic gems. Golan Globus Canon was a prolific independent film production company in the 80s and 90s, founded by Menahem Golan and Yoram Globus. These two Israeli cousins were passionate about making movies, and boy, did they make a splash in Hollywood. Their production company was known for its high-octane action films, often on a shoestring budget. They churned out movies faster than you could say explosion and were unapologetically entertaining. Now, let's take a look at some of their most iconic films. Death Wish 3, 1985. This film, starring the legendary Charles Bronson, is the epitome of the vigilante action genre. It's a wild ride filled with over-the-top action and one-liners that will leave you speechless. American Ninja, 1985 It's an action film starring Michael Dudikoff as Joe Armstrong, a skilled martial artist and army soldier. The film follows Armstrong as he battles a group of terrorists and ninjas on a Caribbean island. Known for its martial arts action sequences and the chemistry between Dudikoff and his co-star, Steve James. Blood Sport, 1988. Stars Jean-Claude Van Damme as Frank Dux, a martial artist who competes in an underground martial arts tournament known as Kumite. Known for its intense martial arts fights and Van Damme's breakout role as an action star. Cobra, 1986. Stars Sylvester Stallone as Marion Cobra Cabretti, a tough cop who takes on a cult of serial killers known as the New World. Known for its over-the-top action and Stallone's iconic one-liners. Death Wish 2, 1982. It's a vigilante action film with Charles Bronson reprising his role as Paul Kersey. Kersey becomes a vigilante again, this time in Los Angeles, to avenge the brutal assault on his daughter. Part of the Death Wish film series. The Delta Force, 1986. Stars Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin as elite soldiers who must rescue hostages from a hijacked plane in the Middle East. Inspired by real events and known for its patriotic themes and action sequences. The Delta Force 2, The Columbian Connection, 1990. A sequel to the original film, also starring Chuck Norris. This time, the Delta Force team takes on drug lords in South America. Hellbound, 1992. Stars Chuck Norris as a Chicago cop who battles supernatural forces. A departure from typical Chuck Norris action films, as it delves into horror and supernatural elements. Invasion USA, 1985. Stars Chuck Norris as a former CIA operative who takes on a terrorist group invading the United States. Known for its explosive action scenes. Kinji Tay, Forbidden Subjects, 1989. Stars Charles Bronson as a cop who investigates a child's prostitution ring. Tackles sensitive social issues while maintaining its action elements. Life Force, 1985. Directed by To Be Hooper a science fiction horror film about a space vampire that wreaks havoc in London. Known for its unique blend of science fiction and horror. Messenger of Death, 1988. Stars Charles Bronson as a newspaper reporter investigating a series of murders in a small town. Part of Bronson's detective film series. Missing in Action, 1984. 
stars Chuck Norris as Colonel James Braddock, a Vietnam War veteran who returns to Vietnam to rescue POWs. A classic action film with patriotic themes. Missing in Action 2, The Beginning, 1985. A prequel to the first film, also starring Chuck Norris as Braddock. Braddock, Missing in Action 3, 1988. The third film in the series, following Chuck Norris's character in more action-packed adventures. Murphy's Law, 1986. Stars Charles Bronson as a cop who is framed for murder and goes on a quest to clear his name. Over the Top, 1987. Stars Sylvester Stallone as a trucker and arm wrestling champion who aims to reconnect with his estranged son. Known for its unique premise and Stallone's performance. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, 1987. Stars Christopher Reeve as Superman, who seeks to rid the world of nuclear weapons. The film explores themes of peace and disarmament but received mixed reviews. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, 1986. Directed by To Be Hooper. A horror comedy sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Known for its dark humor and over the top gore. What made these movies special? So, what made Golan Globus Canon movies so special? Well, it was a combination of factors. They were unabashedly fun, often cheesy, and packed with action. But there's more to it than meets the eye. These movies embraced their B-movie status, and that's part of their charm. The ridiculous dialogue, over-the-top stunts, and sometimes laughable special effects made them endearing. Innovation on a budget. Golan Globus Cannon had a knack for stretching their limited budgets to the max. They used innovative techniques to achieve impressive action sequences, even if they didn't always look realistic, star power. Despite their budget constraints, Cannon managed to attract A list talent, turning actors like Charles Bronson, Jean Claude Van Damme, and Chuck Norris into action legends. The Legacy of Golan Globus Cannon the legacy of Golan Globus canon lives on in the hearts of fans and filmmakers. These movies have left an indelible mark on the action genre and continue to inspire filmmakers today. Cult following. These films have a dedicated cult following, with fans creating fan art, collecting memorabilia, and even hosting conventions to celebrate canon's unique brand of cinema. Influence on modern filmmaking. Many modern action films draw inspiration from Golan Globus Cannon's approach to storytelling, characters, and action sequences. The 80s and 90s nostalgia is alive and well. And there you have it, folks. The wild world of Golan Globus Cannon movies. Whether you love them or laugh at them, there's no denying the impact they've had on the world of cinema. So, grab some popcorn, cue up your favorite Cannon flick and enjoy the glorious madness. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more movie-related content, and leave a comment below telling us your favorite Golan Globus canon movie. Until next time, keep watching and keep loving movies. And as always I see you at the movies. movies on